thing to help the setup is to use a, a door frame or something, something to pull on. So I'm getting in my athletic stance and I want to start the pull or the throw. And it should feel like I can really pull this door frame or myself back to it. My hips are weak in my shoulders, so I'm not in a point where I'm going to fall out of position if this door frame stops holding me or I slip. I'm not going to fall over. What a lot of people find out is that they reach back too far, or really they're leaning instead of turning. And that puts people in a position there's too much weight past this rear foot. So I want to feel like I can really pull the door frame out to the target. Put it down. What a lot of people do is have their foot too far back at this point their weight is on their heel. And the reach back will be kind of high. And you're pulling down toward the ground instead of straight out. You can't, you don't feel as much pulling force against the, uh, the door this way. this way, I can feel my hips leveraging better against the door frame. For the setup, just getting a athletic stance, throwing straight out from the, the door. Reach back, uh, should still be nice and balanced. A lot of pressure is on the inside of the rear foot. Feel the side of the leg here, and you can drop your butt, use your weight, and really pull. This throwing arm or shoulder is further away from the target. But a lot of people actually feel like in this position. Is this, the shoulders further away from the target, and the reach back is like this the arm is pinned against the chest. And then the elbow doesn't get forward as the shoulders open, pulling it around. Whereas if I'm Turn further back from the setup, and I let go. My shoulders still close. Elbow gets forward. Arm releases out. <laughs> 